Oh, yes, Mzansi, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. What a show it's been already on this Monday edition, but let's dive into some more awesome conversations and something where we come to documentaries and awesome ones at that. Now, this is an awesome documentary about a South African music legend. Now, later this evening on SABC One, you can watch the documentary about the life of the late Joseph Shabalala called Music Is My Life, the story of Joseph Shabalala. Now, he rose to international fame with his band, the beloved Ladysmith Black Mambazo. Now, you had to tell us more about this documentary is his son and band member Sibong Gesi Shabalala as well as producer Judy Nokwedi. And I'm hoping that we got them both online. I see uh, Judy is here. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. And we are very excited to be here today. If Ubaba was alive, he would have been 83 today. Oh, so wow. it's a very momentous and poignant moment for the family, uh, for us as the filmmakers, Free Women Films, and of course all the millions of followers around the world. Yeah, well, thank you so much. And I, I'm, I'm so honored to have this conversation with you right now, Judy. Maybe I can ask you exactly with regards to this documentary that you put together. This is incredible stuff. But what is it about Joseph's life that really stood out for you that you found to be quite profound? And, and in doing so, I think just his entire career, what, what really has stood out for you to the point where you felt like this is something I need to capture, I need to captivate the audience and share the story? The reason Joseph Ubaba Shabalala is such a phenomenal global figure is I want to take the viewers into his life. He left Lady Smith at a very young age, very little formal schooling, and then took Iskitamia, Iskitamia, sorry, uh, globally, and it is a particular musical idiom that the world fell in love with. But what is amazing about Joseph is he was a genius, a musical genius. He was a prolific writer, and we have had access to his archives. Here is a man, not in fourth generation AI and uh, virtual reality and all the modern technology, but a man who was able to document every moment in his life and record it in a meticulous way. So we, we are sitting with a genius that begs the question around talent, determination, and skill. And so without any formal training, he is still today the most awarded South African musician, five Grammys. And so that's about him being able to write document and perform. And of course, the name Ladysmith Black Mambazo it means, Mambazo means X, because he had said very early on in his career that every competition the band entered, they cut down the opposition with axes. And it's a metaphor, because Joseph actually was a man of incredible humility, humanity, and love. Oh, wow. You, you, you speak with him of such respect, and I think it, it goes beyond that to say that it is deserved, just hearing some of the accolades and achievements that he's done. And, and with uh, that being said, I think it's just absolutely incredible to hear. This, something I'm trying to understand right now is that I believe that the documentary was shot over the span of like five years, if I'm not mistaken. Could you explain this, this, this capturing process and where it was that moment sort of during that filming of five years that you really found like, oh, this encapsulates that spirit, that essence, that fire of Joseph Shabalala. Was there a moment that really stood out for you amongst those five years? Because I can imagine there were quite a few, right? Yes. Well, the, the, the movie for all of us as free women film directors and, and producers, we all had this film in our head from the time we first heard the melodic voice of Joseph. His voice actually transports you into another realm, another universe. But the actual filming started five years ago when the Joseph Shabalala Foundation allowed us as free women films to begin the process of making the film. So it started formally or um, in terms of the actual 
execution of what was the vision that we had together with um, Nine to Five, the producer, the director of the film, and Pumi. So in 2018, we did the formal contracting with the Joseph Shabalala uh, Foundation, together with Toko Shabalala, Joseph's wife of the last 17 years, because his first wife, Nelly, had been murdered. So, um, and then of course it was the fundraising. But I think for me personally, the moment in the film that actually had the most profound impact on me was when Joseph talks about the ancestral dimension to his ability to make this music. Because he had, I suppose, Dolly Parton, would be Goldberg, Stevie Wonder, all of them marveled at his ability to sleep, to wake up, and the music was then thrust upon his beautiful sons and everyone who worked with him because he said, I, I've dreamt about this and let us now perform it because they used to sleep uh, all together and the sons will be able to tell you how he would wake them up at any hour and say, in my dream, the music came to me. So for me, it's really when Joseph said to respect music is to respect life. For me, that is the most powerful moment in the film. Oh, well, Judy, thank you so much for sharing that. And I see Sibong Giseni has just joined us, the son of Joseph. Sibong, can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, hello. I'm here. Oh, man, it's good to have you on the line. We were just hearing about uh, the incredible woman behind this documentary, putting this in incredible showcase together. And I believe this is an even special day. We were mentioning 83 years old is what Joseph would have been uh, this year today. So I just wanted to ask from your perspective, what is it like seeing your father's sort of spirit, his essence, uh, coming together in a documentary like this? Uh, do you believe it's captured the heart of what he represented? And uh, what, what really stands out for you just in, in all of this and this incredible journey that, that's unfolded? Uh, thank you very much for, for inviting us. Um, I think uh, the ladies, the producers have done a very good job um, watching the documentary, uh, being part of the interviews, uh, I think they have captured exactly uh, what my father was and what he stands for uh, in, in the music uh, industry. And uh, it gives us a uh, uh, joy to see uh, the way they have, uh, they have captured it and showed uh, exactly uh, what he was about. Uh, he, he was all about the music. He never thought about himself. He always thought about the people of South Africa and people, everyone around him, but not himself. So we are very happy. Uh, it makes us sad uh, when we see some scenes, but mostly we are very happy that uh, his legacy still lives on. Oh, well, Sibo, thank you so much, Judy. Again, all the work you've done, I can't be more grateful. And uh, for both of you just sharing your time this morning and getting us, I think, excited for an incredible opportunity to see something special this evening. So have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you again for joining us. And uh, for you, Mzanzi, music is my life. Yes, that's what we're talking about. It illuminates the incredible journey of Joseph Shabalala, taking us from his roots in South Africa to global stardom with Lady Smith Black Mambazo. So for you, Mzanzi, be sure to watch. Watch on SABC1 later this evening at 9 p.m.